Hey guys, welcome to the next chapter vlog. I wanted to start this with Wesley. I took some video for his first birthday party, but the audio was terrible, so I've decided not to use it. But I want to say he's now one years old, and he is a joy usually until he tears my carpet off the floor and tears other things apart. But we're getting better at that, aren't we, sir? Aren't we? But today, Yesterday was April Fool's Day, April 1st, and it is also the month I turned 65. So what does this mean? I'm now on Medicare. <sighs> yes, I'm old. So today we're going to talk about what I've got for Medicare and the plans I'm, I've adopted. And we shall see you in a moment. Today we're going to talk about my Medicare journey. Uh, just a couple of disclaimers. Number one, I'm not an expert, so don't take what I have and try to apply it to your situation. Uh, find your own professional to work with, which is what I did, and we'll talk about how I got there. And we'll also talk about what I'm getting, and we will also have videos down the road as I start using some of these benefits. But anyway, let's talk a little bit about my journey. I, you know, transitioned out of the working world uh, last November, and I am retired. Yay! And things have been going things have been going pretty well. Uh, the dogs have been keeping me busy, and we've got some other uh, things around the house. Eventually, I'm going to take care of that damn pile of mason jars pretty soon because I've got something coming in that's going to go on that wall behind me. I'm looking at the the video coming back. So that's why I'm turning my head. Um, so that we've got some improvements coming to the Fortress of Solitude really soon. Um, so what we've got, what is Medicare? This is in the United States. This is the national health care plan for seniors. Uh, you're required to sign up for parts of this when you turn 65. I am not going to go into a lot of detail on that, but we're going to talk about what I have. So when I signed up, I've got Medicare Part A and Part B, and that's what everybody gets. Part A covers hospital visits and everything around that. Part B covers doctor visits. Um, I'm going to be, this month, when I get my Social Security payment, I'm going to have a $172 deduction uh, for the Part B. And so that's part of the insurance I'm paying. Now, everything else is not technically covered under Medicare. So what you need to do is you need to find a, a plan to cover other things like prescription drugs. That's probably the big thing that's not covered under Medicare. Uh, so what I did, I got a letter from my physician's group, and they gave some suggestions as to the plans they do accept and a person to call and so i made a phone call and i've been working with a lady and my wife will be working with her also relatively soon um, to get a medicare what's called advantage plan and that's what i'm on right now my plan is from united healthcare um, and it's the complete care uh, hmo so i'm actually on a health maintenance organization type plan so there is an in-network and out-of-network portion. I'm just going to talk about what's in-network since I don't plan on being out-of-network a lot um, traveling. Uh, that's going to be a rare instance. So the coverage started April 1st, and there's about eight or nine different pieces to this, and so we'll kind of go through each one real quickly. Uh, the main one is medical. I have a $0 in-network deductible with a maximum out-of-pocket of, of $3,400. Now, the premium for this Medicare Advantage plan is zero, so I'm not paying anything for this. All right, back. I got logged out uh, inadvertently, so I had to stop the recording, and I'm picking it back up. Uh, medical services, all the things you can think of. Um, there's also a fairly liberal benefit for mental health provisions. So 
I'm probably going to be making a shift from my existing uh, mental health professional to one that's covered under this plan. Um, there's, a, there's a lot there, and I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how this plays out uh, with all the benefits under medical. Now, the next one is prescription drugs. This is the what's called Medicare Part D. Uh, you don't get that automatically. There is a fee for it. I've been putting together a worksheet of everything I'm taking to this point. Trust me, when you get old and you've had bypass surgery and you have diabetes, um, yeah, you, you're taking a lot of meds. And right now I'm taking 10 different things. Um, so we've got that. Most of these drugs I was happy to find out are in the, what's called the tier one category. And that has no copay. That was real exciting to see. Uh, so my out-of-pocket for most of this will be next to nothing. Um, I'm going to go talk to my doctor about a couple of the other things that I'm that I'm taking um, and see what we can do to maybe change things and get some of the costs down. Um, what I've also been told when I first signed up for this policy, the insurance agent I was working with told me, some of these drugs may fall into something called the Medicare donut hole. I'm not going to cover that today if once I fall into that. Assuming I do fall into it, I will talk about that uh, in another video. Uh, next item is dental. And this is a fairly liberal dental benefit. Uh, $0 deductible, uh, $2,250 annual maximum. Uh, preventative services have a $0 copay. And everything else could have anything from a zero to a 50% co-insurance payment. Uh, so we, I'm going to be seeing my dentist on April 18th in a few weeks. So, and she is on this plan. She is on this plan. So we're looking pretty good. And so my primary care physician, the one that referred me to this, is on it, and also my cardiologist is on this. So we're we're doing pretty well. There is a vision benefit, a $0 copay on routine eye exam, and I get a $300 allowance for eyewear uh, via contacts or glasses. Um, I'll need to look at this one carefully because I may have to change where I'm getting my eyewear from. In the past, it's been Costco, um, so I may be making a change there. Uh, we'll see. Uh, next part is there's a hearing benefit. I have a $0 copay on a routine hearing exam. And I have a copay between $99 and $1,250 for hearing aids when I need them. Uh, sometimes I think I do need them and sometimes I don't. So we will probably schedule a hearing exam in the near future and see what happens there. Now, the other part, there's some bonuses with this. The first one is they have something called a Renew Active Fitness Program. Uh, I used to belong to a gym a few years ago and dropped that after my wife had her stroke and I was devoting a lot of time to managing next steps around that. That's a story for another day. Um, so I've got a free Renew Active gym membership I can take advantage of. So probably in the next day or two, I'm going to go down to the uh, gym I belonged to before and sign up with this. And so I get free free membership there and maybe I can start working on a few things. Um, then there's a food and over-the-counter benefit. I get $85 a month to buy over-the-counter products or certain foods. I have to go to specific grocery stores. I have to go to my nearest one. If there's a Safeway down the street I'll need to visit. Uh, I'll do another video on that. We will see um, what we get with this. Um, and this is this $85 a month does not roll over. So if I don't use it, it's gone. So I'm going to, I'm going to hope uh, I take advantage of this. I'm going to the grocery store Friday. And so we will see what happens. Uh, also here is I've got routine transportation benefit. I get 36 one way trips at no cost uh, to go to the doctor or, or to the pharmacy or to any other appointment. Um, and, but I have to schedule it a few days in advance, but that's a nice benefit. And then last but not least, the benefit I hope I don't use is a meal benefit. Um, I can get food uh, delivered if I want some discharge from a hospital. 
for up to 14 days, 28 meals. Um, and I just make a phone call to do that. So this is a fairly generous program. Um, we will update as we go. I didn't go into the knitting and the gritty. This is just the high level benefit. This is works for me for now. Uh, may change. I can change every year. There's an open enrollment in December. Uh, you know, and a lot of the TV stations, I watch a lot of old geezer TV stations. So every third commercial seems like something for Medicare Advantage plans. I tell you, Joe Namath and Jimmy Walker uh, flood my television quite a bit in November and December. Uh, that's what I've got. Um, you can reach out for questions in the comments. I look forward to it. And also to check out my other channel, The uh, Celluloid Journey. Uh, I'll be posting a video later in the week for this. So until next time, bye.